How's it going? Hey, Ray. Thanks for a couple of minutes. Uh, we will go back over to Greg Barnes. Go ahead. Hey, Ray, we talked to Jay a little bit on Monday about kind of the differences from the Georgia Tech game to, to what we saw on Saturday. From your perspective, what, what did the defensive line, especially defensive front, uh, do better week to week? So from week to week, I think we've just been working on our fundamentals, you know, working on, on controlling what we can control, our effort, our energy, our gap responsibility. I think that's what we've been preaching, and uh, I think it's paying off right now. And in terms of looking ahead to, to Florida State, kind of what stands out about what they're doing offensively and kind of what the challenge is? Yeah, I think they have a very mobile quarterback. I think both their running backs are some of the best we'll see this year. Um, veteran offensive line. So I think, I think you know, you can say what you want about their record, but they're a super talented team and some things could have went a different way and their record could look a lot different. So it's a big challenge ahead of us. Thank you. Ross, go ahead. Hey, Ray, I've um, been playing uh, beside Miles Murphy now for five games, and he, he's really flashed and made a lot of plays. Um, what have you seen from him, his improvement in these five games that's really stood out to you? Yeah, I mean, when I first met Miles, I mean, he had a bunch of talent and everything like that. And I think now he had a year last year to develop, get some playing time. And, and this spring offseason, he really worked on his fundamentals. and the fundamentals are catching up to his ability. And uh, I think you're really just seeing the, the tip of the iceberg on what he can do and what, what he brings to our defense from a playmaking standpoint. And when you watch tape of the Duke game of the defense, of y'all's defense performance, what are some things you think that um, y'all did differently that y'all can replicate and, and kind of build on moving forward? Like what, what really stood out that y'all did really well? Um, I nothing really like i think great communic we had great communication we knew what we were doing on all three levels of the defense um i think that was a big thing and we just like we control what we control we brought effort we brought energy and uh we knew what we were doing and we played a good game okay over to elvaro torres hi ray i hope you're having a, a great day well, my question is, Florida State is allowing 3.4 sacks per game, uh, which is 17 total, and ranks uh, has one of the works in the FBS in that category. Do you see this game as an opportunity, opportunity to make an, a statement for your D-line? Um, I think every game is an opportunity to show what we can do. Um, yeah, I mean, it's, it's going to be a good battle between the offensive line and defensive line, so... We'll see what happens. Okay, Andrew Jones. Hey, Ray, the last two games, you guys have held uh, Georgia Tech and Duke to five for 26 on third down. Uh, what has led to that kind of success on third down? Uh, I, that was something we emphasized. I mean, even Jeremiah Gimmel in the locker room talked to us about it. You know, he, we talked about, we got to get off the field on third down. That was something we really emphasized. If we're going to get teams to third down, we can't let them convert, let them control the game, things like that. So that that was a big emphasis for us is getting off the field on third down. And I think it's paying off right now. How much of that is a mindset? Is there a certain kind of mindset you have to have to get off on third down or is it something else? Is it just some, a byproduct of being good on first down and, and that kind of thing? Um, I wouldn't say it's, I think it's kind of like a bought in thing from the group. You know, we all we all heard them talk about it. We heard the coaches talk about it. And. And, and we've bought into it and, and it's paying off for the defense. It's keeping the numbers down on how many plays they're getting. It's a momentum killer for the offense if we can get off the field. So I think it's just the group buying in, realizing that, hey, if we get off the field here, it's, it's a big momentum swing. It, it's big for us. Cool, thank you. That's all I got for you, Ray. Thanks, man. All right, thank you.